this weather is bleak. With any luck, we're going somewhere a bit warmer soon. But before that, there's work to be done. Hey, you alright? Place called the Tattooed Goose today. Don't worry, it is just a name. They don't forcibly ink geese. Although it's Doncaster, so who knows? <laughs> I hope nobody heard me say that. This is a proper rough old boozer, this. So you must have seen somebody do this before, right? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? So it's, it's been undefeated think, for three years. Yeah, I think you'll do it, I think, in about 18 minutes from what I've seen. Oh, it's confidence. 18 minutes. As long as there's nothing like, there's no ghost chili sausages in there, I could no. be all right. No. <laughs> Now this is a pretty special looking breakfast. We got some rustic looking hash browns back here, some thick cut black pudding. Looking forward to getting stuck into it. Not so much the mushrooms. <laughs> Today I'm at a place called the Tattooed Goose and I'm taking on their <laughs> please challenge. I'll have to censor that for the kids watching, but I presume it's called that because that's what you say to people that say, oh, I'm definitely gonna do that. 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. And if you crack it, you get, you get it free. free. No t-shirt or anything, no? Not yet. We no? Some, but we'll send you one in post. Give me one of those caps. You've got a nice little flat cap on there. I think I could get away with that. It seems to be that it's got pretty much six of everything you would expect on a regular breakfast. You could prop your door open with those things. Mm. Yeah, so without further ado, this is Baby's Food, and this is the, uh, the please challenge. Hope nobody gets offended at that. Who's gonna? It's quite nice. It's freezing cold outside, so it's quite nice that there's like a lot of heat emanating off this. Right, what should I start with? How hot is it? It's still pretty warm. It's still pretty warm. Look at the size of these things. What's a good word, Beat Army? Welcome back to another episode. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna wanna buckle up for this one. Maybe grab a cushion, a pillow, watch from behind the sofa, something, because this one is uh, both tense and sloppy. Not unlike my lovemaking. Anyway, today we're doing... Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for the imagery. Today we're doing, yes, another full English breakfast challenge, but as the size of these sausages suggests, one unlike anything I've ever done before, and not only that, this thing has been unbeaten now for over three whole years. Oh, these sausages are unreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at the intensity on my face. It's been a while since I chewed quite that enthusiastically. And when I say unreal, by the way, I mean almost quite literally. I, I didn't think they made sausages this dense. But apparently they pay one British one whole British pound per sausage wholesale for these things. Which is pretty much unheard of, but it does explain the thickness. Not to mention the black pudding, which, although delicious, was so dense, I'm surprised light could even escape its surface. We got a big crowd in now. Go on, mate. <laughs> yeah, about this time I'm starting to think the same thing actually. That was a group of blokes who were on a day trip from uh, from Tamworth to Doncaster. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I wasn't aware that uh, Doncaster was a particularly compelling tourist destination, but there you have it. They were a good laugh too and very supportive, especially as we get towards the, the middle of this food challenge when things start to get rough. And I, I get it, it doesn't look like it's any different from a normal breakfast. It doesn't look particularly difficult on the surface. It almost looks like I've halfway finished already, but believe me when I say I haven't, because I think the reason this is so tricky is because normally, I mean, it's pretty expensive. It's like 30 quid, um, which for a breakfast is a little on the pricey side. The reason I think for that is because all the ingredients are actually really, really good. Normally breakfast, the, the sausages are cheap, the bread is, you know, it's cheap. It's, it's all pretty light and easy to get down. This was all really lean, so it entailed a lot of chewing, and I mean a lot. <sighs> I feel, I almost feel out of breath watching this back, because I, it, it was around, I think, seven, eight minute mark. You'll notice I started to speed up. Normally I would be thinking, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it easy, talk to camera a little, with a little Diet Coke on hand there. I know you're thinking, oh, he, when he's in trouble, he's got the Diet Coke, he's whipped the Diet Coke out early. Uh, and yeah, you're not wrong, because, <laughs> because I was finding this quite difficult. So yeah, I, I had to speed up because I thought, man, you only get 30 minutes here and it, it doesn't look like there's too much left, right? But this bread, I'm telling you, I don't know what it was, but it was, it was some crusty stuff. So I mean, already my jaw is absolutely fatigued uh, beyond all measure. 
I can actually, I can barely close my mouth. <laughs> That was in Tamworth not long ago. You know the fish challenge, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, guilty as charged. I did complete the uh, the fish and chips challenge in Tamworth. I think at a place called the Anchor, if I'm not mistaken. It was incidentally significantly easier than this one. <laughs> but uh, what am I doing now? I'm eating some. You could only really call these debris sandwiches. Sorry. <laughs> no way, that's a victory in itself. Forget the challenge. If I'm not the scruffiest eater she's ever seen, then I, I must be doing something right. Uh, due in no small part to these napkins. I think I went through like eight or nine napkins. <laughs> We're getting there though. I haven't really talked much on this one because I had to put a rush on. Yeah, you can say that again. You are eating this like an absolute pig lad. I make no apologies though, I don't really see that there's another way you can do it. You have to kind of mush it up with your hands a bit, rather than just relying on your jaw the whole time. A second Diet Coke! My days, we are in trouble. I can see why this has been unconquered now for three years. I've seen a lot of people comment on Facebook, they tag me in it all the time, and I think just because you can only do this on a Saturday morning, that's the reason I haven't, you know, it's taken me so long to get to it. But you see a lot of people saying, oh, this looks easy, and it does kind of on the surface, but it'll take some effort for this to be successfully completed. <laughs> Look at that strength among bearded folk. Who needs Mrs. Beard cheerleading when you got the, the bloke with the flat cap and the beard to, uh, to push you on? I mean, I, I think I needed it at this point because we've just got these humongous, the, the guy actually totally have like a special name. They're, they're mushrooms, right? The things that are left here. Um, they were so big though, the, the, there's a, a, a guy spectating who kept saying, oh, you've only got the sausages left. I'm thinking these aren't sausages, but um, yeah, they, they were not the finest thing to eat. At the end, but we're getting there. It's getting close. We've only got four minutes left, but we can make it. We can make it. But honestly, I wouldn't stand that close if I were you. Yeah, not without a raincoat anyway, because we are getting to that point where, especially with these mushrooms, they're pushing them close to the edge. We're getting some debris off the table though, making things nice and clean. 28 minutes, coming up. Oh, this is tense even just watching it back. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good? You ain't even gonna wash up. That's it, you're done. No. Yeah. Just 28 minutes, 11 seconds. That's proper, oh. that's proper Aguero well with that. Go on, Tog. Oh, no. How about Jack just thought I feel sick, man. What's that? How Jack just thought I was too jacked? Yeah. I weigh like 150 pounds when I'm fine. <laughs> I'm little. See you on next. I might come back for a normal meal one day. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Oh, that's seriously written me off. Uh, I might just cut out the middle, man. Drive straight to A and E. <laughs> and maybe some napkins if you have any. I mean, I know it's like an old-fashioned boozer, but I'm assuming you got some napkins somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> or just a rag, or maybe like an old T-shirt.